Banjo-Kazooie Legend of the Crystal Jiggy is a hack that's been on my radar for a while. It's the latest in a number of hacks by Jackson G13, and I think it's his best work so far. I was so confident that I would like this game that I did an entire 5 hour playthrough of it, so if you want to see that, be my guest. There are so many cool things about this game, but one of the coolest things is how it takes advantage of interconnected levels. The earlier levels give you a sneak peek into future worlds, and it builds anticipation for what's to come. And all of these levels levels are very unique and highly detailed. It's also got new moves. Of course, most of them are just reskins, but then there's the rocket shoes that allow you to moon jump. Now that's an upgrade. I love this bedroom level, by the way. There are so many sweet references all over the place. You got banjo posters and an N64 going. It's the bedroom I would have wanted as a 7 year old. Then again, my current bedroom is littered with empty Pringles cans and Corn Pops boxes, so I guess that would be an improvement. Another great thing is that it features a very outdated photo of me, Phantom Bane. This was from my famously terrible video on Last Impact from 5 years ago. I gotta hand it to Jackson on this one, he really did his research getting this photo. This game feels very complete, I feel like it touched most of the important bases. There's the winter level, the factory level, the tree level, cause it's Banjo-Kazooie, the haunted mansion, and the stadium. The stadium level is just so compact and efficient, there's no wasted space here. Although I could probably say that for all the levels. There's Gruntopolis, which has this used game store with a shitload of boxed N64 games, which are probably worth more than diamond rings at this point. That's where you meet Conker, who gambled away all of his money, so you gotta go to the casino to steal it back. Along the way, you meet the robots from Earthworm Jim 3D. I wasn't expecting that kind of reference, but I welcome it. Which reminds me, we gotta put an end to Earthworm Jim 3D slander. It is not nearly as bad as people say it is. Maybe one day I'll make another video on it. The only issues with this game are just general weird ROM hack glitches, like this switch that didn't spawn the first time and the time I had to recollect invisible notes, that was kinda weird. But at least they're fully 3D models now and not sprites like the original. In fact, this game has rebranded a number of things, like the honey which is now a jar of honey, you got the batteries that let you fly, and the golden crystals of invincibility. Another issue that I have is that some of the dialogue exchanges drag on a little bit too long, but at least the dialogue sounds authentic with respect to the source material. At the same time, the game also seems way more aware of the problems with the banjo engine. There are way fewer instances of bullshit difficulty. It also has a lot of great music, which is full of references to other games. There's actually a lot of Majora's Mask music in this game, which I'm always here for. As a side note, Captain Blubber has a picture of Jolly in his place for some reason. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but we're already 99% sure Jolly is gay, so uh, is it possible he's with Blubber now? I mean, Blubber has his picture above his bathtub of all places, so I mean, I don't know, I'm just asking questions, you know? Legend of the Crystal Jiggy is a great banjo hack and absolutely demonstrates growth as the latest in a lineage of banjo hacks from Jackson G13 and I definitely recommend this one. Play it.